Genoa City. I've spent so much of my life here, but somehow things have never been the same since the death of my dear husband, Philip Chancellor. He'd be alive today if it wasn't for her. When I think back to that awful night more than 10 years ago. I've got to get on with my own life. Dear God, Philip. Dear God, please don't. Please don't just walk out like this. For the love of, of heaven, don't leave me alone. The divorce never would have happened if I hadn't allowed that contemptible woman into my home. She used her looks, her sexuality, to steal my husband away from me. I love you, Philip. More now than I ever have. I feel the same. I'm sorry, now. First time together had to be in this place. Doesn't matter. Philip and I could have worked things out if only we'd had the chance. Mrs. Chancellor's gonna be waiting for you. She doesn't even know that I'm home yet. She'll wonder where you were. I can't have feeling that I betrayed Mrs. Chancellor. Betrayal doesn't begin to describe what that tramp did to me. Poor Philip had no idea about her capacity for deceit. She brainwashed him into believing I no longer wanted to be his wife. All you have to know is that we belong together. And if you, you doubt that, you make me very unhappy. I never want to make you unhappy, Philip. Then listen to me. You and I, from this day forward, we belong to each other. It didn't happen that way. Our love wasn't enough. She still took you away from us. Don't you proclaim your innocence to me. I remember seeing you, the looks you gave him, flaunting yourself, your body out at the pool in that indecent little bikini you wore. Oh, yeah, please, what red-blooded man wouldn't be turned on to you, Jill? Ten years ago, I was here. I lived it. You saw what you wanted, an attractive, rich, older man, and you made your move. Catherine, it was you. Your smoking, your drinking, your stable boys. Your marriage was dead before I ever came into that house. No, no lies. All lies and deceit. Jill Foster is like a vampire. She bites and sucks the lifelong blood out of her prey. All she cares about is money and social position. Ah, yes, that contemptuous infidel thinks she has it all, never suspecting for a moment that her worst nightmare is about to begin. God, I want the woman destroyed! I just want to see her groveling. I vow I will have my revenge. Someday, Jill Foster Abbott's house of cards will come tumbling down. Jill Foster Abbott. Talk about wicked stepmothers. How could I have ever let it happen? One night, one crazy night, the worst mistake of my life. Jill, you cold, me. I've been cold for so long. My father's wife, what could I have been thinking? How was I to know that out there, in that terrible snowstorm, someone was taking pictures? Someone who would use those pictures to slowly turn my life into a living hell. It was cold out, very cold. In fact, there was a blizzard. I saw you in a cabin, Jack. You and your father's wife. Lindsay Wells. 
What do you want from me? One woman I wish I'd never met. Eventually, the pictures surfaced. What are we gonna do? I don't know. We shouldn't have to wait too long to find out. And fell into the hands of Kay Chancellor, not exactly one of Jill's biggest fans. Oh, yes, the proud Mrs. Abbott, basking in all her glory at this very moment. So you think he'll just toss her out? No big settlement or anything? No, Jill Abbott believed the Abbott house of old. Exactly as she ended it. Penniless, and I can see her right now. Backslaving at some pitiful beauty salon, scrimping for every dime, frantically searching for a rich man to get her claws into. Now, Catherine, I don't know what this is about, but I certainly don't appreciate this kind of trash. Is that Jill? Rather interesting photos, is it not? Catherine, stop it! Just stop it! Stop it! I don't want to see any more! I have more slides. I said turn it off! Fortunately, Kay had the decency to have the pictures altered, concealing my identity. But even that didn't lessen their shocking impact. Dad survived, but the marriage didn't. See you in court. And Jill was ready to take the old man to the cleaners. Oh, that's all I want, my fair share. How does a thing like this happen to a man like me? Two million dollars a year. To be at the mercy of that woman. Twenty million dollars. For what? Six million dollars. When the hell does this end? OK, let's say five. Now that is enough. You're saying I'm entitled to half of five million dollars? Where is the justice in that? Oh, I'm rich. The heat was on. Dad was determined to stop Jill's greedy little plan to bleed him dry. And the pictures, they were his only hope. John, those pictures have been destroyed. I told you that before. I need to know the identity of the man in those pictures. Some way, somehow, we have got to find a photographer. But the photographer would lead him straight to me. The walls are closing in. I've got to get Lindsay to come forward and tell what she knows. Hopefully leaving your name out. What can I say? My entire future is in your hands. I love it here at Chabot. I don't want to leave. Because whether you believe it or not, I care very, very much about John. But how is he going to feel about me now when I tell him that I'm the person who took the pictures? Why shouldn't I just drag you down with me? If you care about him the way you say you do, you won't do this to him. You know what a blow it would be. Did you ever think about that, Jack? When you were making love to your father's wife? what I loved about Jack Abbott. He wasn't afraid to take risks. He took a chance on me. Me, Nikki Reed Newman, Jabot Cosmetics lead model, with a job I adored and married to the most wonderful man in the world, Victor Newman. Everything should have been perfect, and it was perfect. We were living a fairy tale romance. You're everything to me. You and Victoria, you're my family. Until I began to suspect that there was another woman casting her spell on my husband. I could see it in his eyes. 
was falling in love with her. Ashley Abbott and my husband are having an affair, and I'm totally powerless to stop them. I wish we could stay like this forever. It's tearing me apart inside, trying to deny how I feel for you. Don't do that. Don't deny it to yourself. It hurts. It really hurts. Suspecting but not knowing for sure. I have to know the truth. I won't rest until I have concrete proof. I have to catch them in the act. The day I went to work for the Abbott family was probably the best day of my life. They were a real family, the kind that stood by each other no matter what. It was Mrs. Abbott, Jill, who hired me and recognized my potential first. I can't seem to get my suit tied. You want me to fix your suit? Yes, if you wouldn't mind, Tara. But it was Mr. Abbott who brought me into the family business. Jabot was my first real opportunity to show what I could do. I was more than a little nervous, and I might have blown the whole thing if it hadn't been for Tracy. She was the greatest. I was just wondering if a good night kiss would be out of line. Um, well, why don't you try it and find out? When times got tough, I could always count on her. Like when her brother, Jack, promoted me into sales. Ever since I moved into this house, Jack and I have been at odds. And all of a sudden, one day, out of the clear blue sky, he wants to bury the hatchet. So what does he do? He gives me a promotion at work. And then he makes it... Absolutely so that... impossible for you to do anything except fail. Yeah, Jack Abbott was out to get me, one way or the other. You're living at my house. You're working in my company. And if you expect to continue to do either of those things, then you don't see Tracy. Remember, houseboy, don't mess with my sister. But Tracy needed me. She was still hurting from her breakup with that rock star, Danny Romilotti. I mean, there's just something about being on stage, you know, uh, singing in front of all those people, hearing them call your name. Hey, you guys! Incredible energy, man, that incredible energy. And I wouldn't be happy doing anything else besides singing. It's part of my life, you know. I, I feel like I was born to sing. I don't want to do anything else. Hey, baby, I'm talking to you. The audience, everybody, man. I went out there and I blew it, Lauren. Blew it, Lauren. Blew it, Lauren. Blew it, Lauren. 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 It just seemed so unfair. Everything was going so well for us. Danny was at the height of his career. We were on the verge of becoming superstars. Then suddenly he lost his voice, and I was about to lose much, much more. My husband Paul and I were meant for each other. We were inseparable, or so I thought. Then the nightmare began. All the time we were being watched by him. He ruined everything. I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that you don't love me anymore and that our marriage is over. I don't love you and our marriage is over. I finished things off with Paul. He thinks the marriage is over. This is exactly what you wanted. I will forget about ever being married to Paul if it saves his life. I'll do what you want from this point on. Sean had me trapped. This is the woman I've been waiting for my entire life. And I wanted to have everything her heart desires. Oh, 
that's the way it's gonna be. You and me together forever. You don't plan our future on one day and then walk out on me in the next. It hasn't made any sense since you left. He was going to kill Paul. This is an emergency, a life and death emergency. You've got to help me, please. Your name? It's not me. I need you to help. It's my husband. His life is in danger. What's his name and where is he? His name is... Uh... Hello? Hello? What are you so doing, Lauren? I am in control here. I am the boss. Please. Please let me go home. Please let me go home to Paul. Darling, you gotta just get Paul out of your system. Sean, you may be able to force me to leave my husband. And you may be able to keep me here against my will. Let me tell you something. If you think for one minute that I am going to enjoy this, forget it, because you've got another thing coming to you. If only Paul knew why I had to do this. My hands were tied. I couldn't risk his life. I just couldn't. You poisoned her, Andy. He wormed his way into her life, feeding her ego with all that star ball. Doesn't sound like the one to me. The two of them deserve each other. Oh, Paul, what brings you by? How dare you ask me that, you slimy little punk. Ooh, Paul, name-calling is not gonna solve anything. Oh, I agree. I got something else in mind. <laughs> Paul is dead. No. No, he's not. You killed your husband just as though you shot him yourself. Well, your friend took care of the wrong person. Someone was shot all right. But it wasn't Paul, it was Andy Richards. Farron, listen. Something's happened. It's Andy. What about Andy? He's been shot. Oh, no. Now, wait, you can't go Fair in there. No. Now, come on, take it easy. I've right? got to find him. Sarah, listen to me. You're not going to help Andy by getting hysterical. Paul, he needs me. Sean Garrett is a madman. He has to be stopped. Paul, Andy, Farron. He's destroyed all of our lives. Who will be next? I just want to be close to you, that's all. No, Sean. I just want to hold you. No, please. Lauren, that's enough for me. I just want to hold you. Sean, please don't. Please? I that's know what you want. Can I just... Hold you? Can I just be Sean, close? I don't want you next to me. Please. Please. Lauren, you're wrong. It's not, I don't want anything. Oh, from come you. on. You're lying. Stop it. I don't. I don't. Let stop me hold it. You. I know what you want. Stop it. I just it. want to be close to you. Don't Sean, know what you want. Sean, stop it. Wrong. No, you're lying. Get away from me. Don't you understand what I'm saying? Get away from me. Get away from me now.